Hello everyone, my name is Uthers, and welcome back to a new episode of Foundations. We're going to be letting the simulation play today while we are constructing that way. Um, I kind of see where everything is at, and we'll just be back up here relaying out the city, right? A um, couple things that we want to work on is getting the church up and going. This one down here, the new rustic church, is going to be finished soon. So hopefully that will unlock the new church for us. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and assign a, a run to the clergy to get some more points for them. Um, I don't think we have probably enough right now. So we'll, we'll see if we can get some more with them in case the we can't afford the uh, next tier. So... I went ahead and laid out um, a new bakery and a new cheesemaker on the other side of the tavern. That should cover our two main food groups, uh, bread and cheese, at least production-wise in this area. Um, otherwise, we just need to start laying out some more of the large buildings. I'm thinking what I want to do is have a church down here on this side and a church up here on this side. We're gonna end up going with the two market strategy and I laid out two wells on each end currently. That's going to be kind of representing where the markets go. So let's lay out the markets then and we'll go from there. So market. And these are gonna be fully equipped markets hopefully. That can provide a whole bunch of goods and services for our townsfolk from food to cloth uh, to even luxury food stalls. I kind of want to have three or four food items, but I'm going to try and break them up a little bit because I don't want them like this huge, large string of shops, right? I kind of want something a little bit more subtle, something a little bit more interesting than just having this massive single line. Um, so breaking them up into just doubles, I think will help. Okay, it looks like we've finished the rustic church and we've unlocked the new splendor item. So we'll do some food items there. And then I guess we'll do a good stall up this way. How about a good and luxury stall? Huh? Mix them up a little bit. Good and luxury. We'll do another good and luxury stall down this way. Kind of straighten that out. And then maybe like a primary luxury, just a single one. I don't want to block the warehouse, so we'll just put a single one, say, here at the corner. We'll do we'll do a hard corner here. There we go. And that's a little bit more of a unique shape, I would say. Uh, again, red to signify food. So I'm going to try and center this over both to give us as much covering as possible. Okay. We'll do blue up here, which we'll actually snap to, and green for luxury as well. Now I generally rotate these green ones a little bit differently than how they want to snap on because I think that angle covers a little bit more you know what that one that might work there okay so there's a lot of that we can add barrels and corners and things just to make the whole market kind of feel a little bit more cluttered in Maybe a bench. Oh 
on one side of the well, just like the lower town. So I like that kind of shape that we had going there. Down there. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we could also do some fencing. Maybe just like behind the scenes. A little bit. And maybe we can kind of just dump a bunch of barrels back here. And a couple seats. Some cool clutter. We can do some good signs. Goods. Food. Just like that. some luxury signage here. I'd say that's a pretty decent little market area. I don't have any other things. This is going to cost 850 gold just to start building. And you're going to find that uh, we don't have a whole bunch of gold in reserve. And I think that's a limitation of just simply having such a small village right now. We don't have a huge treasury. Look at that, that's a huge boon, I think, to land value. We're trying real hard to compete with this massive decrease in land value here across from the tavern um, by doing some really fancy markets. And the church, that'll go here and here will also really help out, I think. So we'll just, we'll just have to kind of wait and see how all that plays out. So we'll do the other market now. In a monument, isn't it? Market. Okay, other market. While I'm doing that, I need to buy the church and a small stone wall. Yeah, sure, I'll comply. Build a church. All right, we'll build a church in a moment. That's that's on the list. We're gonna have two in this in this whole place. I just want to cover both bases here. It'll be interesting when all the houses are in this area because housing, as you guys know, I can't hand place. Um, so I'm worried that it's going to get a little spread out, a little too spread out to look like a city. And the way that I kind of did fix that in earlier versions of the game when I played was you can see how I bumped these tailor huts up to this stone building. That's what I did with a lot of... The the uh, profession buildings in my original save um, back in the day and that just made everything a lot more dense I just don't know if uh, I'll be able to do that on this one since we're doing so much central planning but worth a shot all right so we got the granary here might be a good little spot for some food stalls Right, And then this one we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of having so many of them back, you know, uh, side by side, I'm going to be trying to spread out these things a little bit more. Okay, that's too far. That and luxury. Okay. Good and luxury. So we'll do something like that. A little bit of a different shape. We'll see how well it does. Kind of never know until you do something with it, right? And we're gonna try and mix up maybe the colors of the coverings a little bit more than we did in the past. Okay, 
this one here. All right, I think that's that's not too bad. Add some barrels, of course. Barrels are great for like the little corner items. Unsure long term how this market stall and this granary is going to interact. It could it could create an issue. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Let's just put two benches here. My mouse is actually kind of broken right now, guys. So like sometimes when I single click, it double clicks. So I'm having to do some things kind of twice. It's a little annoying. I'm not a huge fan of my mouse right now. It's a bit of a jerk. Put that there. Uh, good stall. Luxury stall. Okay. That's that's all right. I would say this one's this one's going to be about a hundred gold cheaper total to build that little market. Not too bad. All right. Now we have the actual churches. Um. Doesn't look like there's. Anything too crazy there. So church. Put that here. Can't add a stained glass window yet. All right, let's go make sure the core is in alignment. It is. And both of these churches will probably end up looking the same, let's be honest. Um, so one, two, come on, single click please, thank you game, or thank you mouse. I'm gonna increase the height by just two, two clicks here. Yeah, some verticality. Um, let's bring that down. Something like that. And then a few extensions. I'm going to have to merge this in there a bit, though. Good. Let's make that nice and tall. So I can place it. Come on, don't mouse. You're killing me. Here. A round tower, huh? Mm, nah. Well, actually, if I do that this in the middle. Yeah, that makes the tower a little bit fancier. Yeah, we'll get these small towers placed. On each end. Good, get across on each tower. 
gargoyles, huh? I'm out of gargoyle on each end. Um, doorways wise, there's that much option here. Sadly, but do our best with it. Stained glass technically should go there. Should also technically be on this side too, but we can do an arch. What do um, just small stone walls look like? Okay. And large stone walls, I assume they kind of match this. No, 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 no. Uh, tavern walls? Yeah, we could use a tavern wall for that. this other arch first. And then tavern wall again. I hope you guys think that tavern walls look good. I I think they do. I'm happy I can drag the nodes a little bit after I'm done. Make these archways just one taller. There we go. Does it? I don't know what those red balls mean, or if they mean that like it's too low for someone to walk under, but I don't know, we'll find out. That looks okay for that church, church number one kind of butting up at the edge there from down below. It definitely looks pretty grand, um, but we're gonna have another one pretty much along this mountainside as well though. How much is this thing gonna cost? 511 gold, that's not too bad. We need glass, we need tools, we need polished stone, a whole bunch of it. Um, and 103 tools, that's pretty costly. It'll definitely look nice. And we'll see when we add the city walls around how that turns out too. Some big old city walls and some like guard towers and stuff. Um, all right, so that covers that area. How, how much time? Okay, so we're about 18 minutes in the episode already. Dang. Dang, man. Dang. Um, let's go ahead and maybe start construction on... Ooh, I can't. Why can't I start? Ooh, no, 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 no. Why? Why did that happen? God damn it. There goes half of our bloody tavern. There's our kitchen. Did I... What piece did I delete? I guess this piece that was there. In the middle. Fuck. That's annoying. I can't believe I did that. Note to self, don't grab buildings um, that you laid down, Uthris, because you're never going to be able to get them back how they were. Oh, fuck. All right. Let's see. Is it 
this. I think I use extensions for all this, if I remember correctly. think that fixes it. I think. Jesus. Get rid of these broken chimneys. Put them back there. I think that fixes our tavern. I'm not sure about this area, if it's damaged or not, but we'll find out eventually. Okay, now why couldn't I build that? I have 900 gold. Start construction. Has one door, yes. Is it these? That's creating an issue. Or the terrace. Something is creating an issue and I don't know what. Why can't I build this? Is that because I'm paused? I have no idea why I currently can't build this thing. Okay, well here's a door that wants to complain. I had to guess this one's probably complaining too. Oh, oh, fucking it was the bridge. God, God damn. I can like never win with this game it seems. Me and this game do not get along. Okay, so we got that. I can put the door back here then. Right? No, I can't. It won't let me do that. No way it does. Hell. Boom. Start construction. Start construction. I want them to start working on the tavern and stuff. Right now. Because um, that's going to take a while to build, probably. Oh, I feel like I've wasted a whole bunch of time with that. Let's, let's start with the next church, then. here make sure these are facing the same way maybe this will be like a smaller church hold on 
Why are so many people unhappy? They're just missing out on, I guess, land for their um, homes. Okay, well, we'll give them some more land then. That should fix the problem. You would think. And you would hope. Um, this thing, by the way, needs deleted. And extraction. And go back to this. Okay. Probably. All right. Let's see how that goes. Um, our food is actually pretty pretty low too. Yeah, we're short on food. Well, I'm going to get uh, gathering hut, gathering hut here. I'm keeping it all. Can't can't assist right now, guy. My uh, my hubris of building a giant uh, city is currently destroying my economy. Which is, let's be honest, not surprising. Hold on, what? We're stuck while going to well. Stuck on what? House. Is this in the way? Did these upgrade into each other and just break? Is that what happened there? Like, what, what's up with this? What, what, what was wrong with that? Stuck while going to food stall. Okay, so that fixed some of it. They should rebuild that house, by the way. And I'm gonna have to make a new fishing hut for the one I deleted. I don't know, we'll throw it here. Alright, that should should help. Oh my god, so many people trying to go to church. This is open, right? Yep. Yep. They are both working. It, it has to be from all those people being stuck for some reason. All right, we'll, we'll let it play. See if it gets worse or better, probably worse. All right, church. He 
appears we have a bit of a problem with our church. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. down so this is still going to be a church it's just I'm having to add aisles out this way a little bit which is not bad not great either you know this is ideally not you know how your church should look but I'm fine with uh, something like this it's a little bit more monastery like to be honest which is fine too down and we'll do the same thing on this side I don't think we're gonna have uh, stained glass on this church to be honest I'll just do something like that in fact I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna Throw the standard kind of core here. Just to make it pop. Just to make it pop out a little bit. Entrance under each tower, fine. Gargoyle, cross, cross, cross. Gargoyle, gargoyle. Something like that. That's okay. I mean, the main aisle is technically facing the right way. We have that, but we just have to have a side entrance because the mountain and everything's in the way. Doesn't look too bad. I'm okay with it. Minimum number of decorative parts. What's this? Basin. Pestle. This way. I'm 
Honestly, I kind of like the more right angle variation of a lot of this stuff. That looks all right. So that's church two. I said it was gonna be a bit smaller, it ended up being a bit taller, but uh, that's all right. And this episode has already run on longer than I wanted. Did my happiness recover? It's going back up. It's definitely going back up. I don't know if that's really recovered or not. I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, we're lacking food. Oh, real short on food. Are we short on the wheat and flour for the most part or bread production? Probably wheat and flour. We need to get another wheat farm. Up and going. So another wheat farm. And another, probably two fishing huts, if I had to guess. Would be good. Like one here. Where's the other fishing hut? Actually, we'll just do one more. One more fishing hut's fine. Three villagers have, have really want to go to a church and stuff, but like, they just haven't walked over there yet. We have 28 people basically starving though, so that's that's a thing that's happening. But the tavern's being built, so progress, I guess? Question mark? Maybe? I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and leave this episode here though. Um, next episode, what I'm going to do in between this one and next one is I'm going to work on getting things a little bit more stable first. And then we'll come back and finish up the city. So some of this might be built. Some of this might not be built. Um, but I think that, that would be the best thing to do. So with that, thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you all in the next video.